everybody, welcome. This is Julie at Crafty Beach and I have a special project for you today. But if you could first hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. I'm a new channel and it really helps. So today I'm gonna be decorating my tiered tray in my kitchen with only Dollar Tree and Dollar Spot items. This is what I have. <laughs> and the first thing I have here is from the Target Dollar Spot. I don't need to do anything to it. So easy peasy on that one. Uh, the next thing is this gnome. He's so cute. I got him at the Dollar Tree. I am just going to give him a cute little spring flower from these stickers that I got at the Dollar Tree. Just to give him a little festive touch. Not too much is needed. This tear tray I had all decorated in Easter, and so I it was really Eastery. It was stuff that would not cross over to spring, so I kind of needed to start from scratch on this tear tray. Okay, up next. Hmm, what should I do next? Okay, I got this adorable pot from the Target Dollar Spot. It was $3 the other day, and when I saw it, I kept thinking succulents would be really cute in here, and that is exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna find a piece of foam from the Dollar Tree, one that fits in there pretty good, and I have some succulents from the Dollar Tree. Um, I have, my first one here is a little too long, and so I'm gonna use these floral um, scissors that I got from the Dollar Tree and after I get the tag off and give it a trim. This is one of the succulent picks and it's still too long. So I'm just gonna push it through the foam, snip it off. And I don't really want the succulents like moving around in there. So I'm going to get my uh, fancy dancy Ryobi hot glue gun. I got it on Amazon. I love it. And it's cordless and glue that foam down. Then I had two more succulents that from the Dollar Tree that I just had left over. They are old. The first one I had the both there. I think they were both with my Halloween stuff it was fine. I just put that in there. The second one, you can tell it's like falling apart. So I just get my little protector so I don't burn myself and I'm just gonna kind of put it back together with hot glue and it will be as good as new. I put it in there and it just kind of kind of sticks out a little too far so I do go back in here and uh, glue it down but first I'm gonna cover up the foam with some of this reindeer moss that I have left over from the Dollar Tree, just so you don't see any of the foam in there. I'm not using very much, just a little bit here, a little bit there. This stuff is really good for any kind of floral projects. And here I am going back in and gluing that one that doesn't really want to stay down. And I think this turned out so cute in this Target Dollar Spot. Pot. I love the details. It's such a bright yellow. So my plan with this tear tray was to do pink, yellow, and turquoise. So I got this little berry basket at the Target Dollar Spot for $3. And um, it's the color of pink I wanted. It's super cute. I only saw these there once. And when I saw it, I grabbed it. I'm trying my darndest to get the label off the bottom. I don't know why I'm even bothering because it's on the bottom. It doesn't really matter. But I don't think I have to do anything to that. I'm just going to sit that in there and put some stuff in it. So this project, my birdhouse project, I got this block from the Dollar Tree, the birdhouse from the Dollar Tree, and that there is a plunger handle from the Dollar Tree. I just took the plunger off, threw it away, kept the wood. So the wood was pretty rough especially on the birdhouse. So just giving it a quick sand down with my sanding block from the Dollar Tree. And this project took a lot longer than I thought it was gonna take. So I'm just going to snip off a little piece. I'm gonna get the little screw part off and I just want a little piece and I'm using my power tools, my jigsaw, 
you can use any kind of saw. I just hate sawing, so I brought out the big weapons. So just sand it down, and I'm just going to kind of make a stand for my birdhouse because I want it to be a little bit taller. If I just set the birdhouse in there, I don't think you're going to be able to see it. So I'm using a combination of wood glue and hot glue, and I used way too much glue, <laughs> and to glue that down. And I do the same thing on the top, and then I put it on there, and then it's crooked, and then I'm like, oh no, it's, oh, okay, yeah, this isn't gonna work, so. <laughs> I go it again, hit it with some hot glue, it keeps wanting to fall off, I try a new direction. Put a little bit more hot glue in there, pray, <laughs> it was really the first it glued so easily to the block but the from I don't know it was probably because my cut was not level but when all else fails scrape off all the glue and start over and that is exactly what I did all right that birdhouse is not going to go anywhere <laughs> so Blue, pink, yellow. I decided I want my birdhouse to be the blue. And I have this beautiful turquoise color uh, from the craft section at Target. And it kind of reminded me of like a robin egg blue. And I'm just going to go all over with that thing. And I'm just going to do one coat because I want it to look rustic. I mean, I don't really care. And I do go back and weather it later. But this project took me the longest, I think, because I was starting with such bare materials. And there's my head. <laughs> and I'm trying to get in all of the nooks and crannies. It might have been easier to paint it before I put it all together, but I don't know, maybe not. And I'm going to do the bottom. I mean... When I do a project, I like to look finished. When somebody picks it up and looks at it, I want it to look like, you know, it's not something that I DIY'd, it's something that I could have purchased. And so I want it to be completely covered in paint. And I'm gonna paint everywhere except for the roof. I do have an idea for something I wanna do with the roof. The birdhouse was the worst, I think, because there was all these little places I had to go in here with like a little brush and get inside the little holes in the front, underneath the roof, all the sides of the roof. And I've about got it. I think I've about got it. <laughs> Thank you. Goodness, and here's my idea. I have this placemat that I found at the Dollar Tree. They only had one, and I loved the flowers, and hey, they have the blue and the yellow, which were two of the colors I wanted to go for. So I went after one of the little blue flowers, and I am just eyeballing it. Here I go in with an ink pen, kind of draw a line, you could see the lines on the fabric, um, so it made it really easy to cut. So once I got a reference point, I could cut it pretty easily. Then I'm gonna use uh, that piece as a template, and I'm gonna go after one of the little yellow flowers for the other side. And I'm gonna use that blue flower as a pattern for my yellow flower. So I'm just gonna snip, snip, cut both those pieces out, and I am going to attach those to the roof with Mod Podge. Oh, and it's a new jar and it made me work at it here <laughs> to get in there. And then I got Mod Podge all over myself. All right, so I'm gonna go in, put a pretty thick coat on, put down the first fabric panel. I thought that the fabric would give it, you know, some more texture, break up all the blue. Since I did the base and the stem and you know all of the, or the pole all of it's in blue I didn't want it to be too much blue so then I'm going to go over it with more Mod Podge on the top 
and it was fraying a little bit, but I was kind of just pulling the strings off as I went. It seemed to attach pretty well, except for when I touched it. <laughs> when I would touch it, it would want to come up a little bit. So I'm just drying it with my heat gun, this heat gun, guys. I put off my heat gun. I got this on Amazon for $10 and it is like a game changer. You don't have to wait for paint to dry, Mod Podge, acrylic, I mean, everything. I love it. So there were some parts, I'm gonna trim off the extra excess material and then some of it is trying to come back up on me. So I do have to go back in here and do some more Mod Podge because I want that to stay down and not separate. Then I'm deciding it needs something. So I found this ribbon that I got at the Dollar Tree the other day. It's like a burlap with like a stitching on it. And I cut off a little piece and I'm just hot gluing that around the top and the bottom. That way it kind of hides any glue or my bad cutting job of my plunger handle and gives it a little bit more texture. Then I go back in with some of this reindeer moss and I just kind of stuff it in the holes in my birdhouse to kind of make it look like there's been a nest in there that it's been used a little bit. And I think I'm done, but then I'm looking at it and I'm like, it looks too perfect. I'm gonna have to go in here with some ivory, Waverly chalk paint and distress it a little bit. And that's what I do. I, I have a coastal house, coastal farmhouse. And so I like, I like my wood distressed. I think it makes it look better. So I'm just gonna go in, add some paint, go back in with some baby wipes, kind of wipe it off, spread it around. And I'm gonna do that on all of the blue parts of the birdhouse. So I got the sides and the top. And that's why, I, <laughs> that's why this birdhouse took me so long. There was a little bit too many steps, but you know what? In the end, I love how it turned out. I think it turned out really good. And I'm so pleased with how this tear tray is going. It's very springy. I think I can leave it up for the rest of spring. Um, I may change it out when it gets closer to Memorial Day. I may leave it until summer. It turned out really good. So um, I usually go with like maybe one or two uh, color schemes for my tear tray. But this time I went with three colors, pink, yellow, and blue just because they all were really reminded me of spring and I think it ends up turning out really good with the contrast of the three colors. And hey, 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 I'm finally done with the birdhouse. Okay, next step, this cute little pink creamer I found at the Dollar Tree. All you gotta do is go in here, there I am taking the tags off the bottom, and fingernail polish remover takes off the paint on almost all of these things at Dollar Tree like immediately. The only thing that I found that it didn't work on was like the little change tray. I don't know what they used on that, but it did not work on that. But easy peasy, that came right off. And I'm just gonna add a spring word. And I go and print out the word spring on my Cricut. And I am just gonna use my rotary cutter, cut off my excess vinyl. This was just a scrap piece of vinyl that I had and I'm gonna weed it and honestly I've never had vinyl weed that good before <laughs> it did awesome look at that usually I have trouble with that skinny um redone font but it was showing off for you guys <laughs> so then I'm searching can't find my transfer tape I finally find some not the kind I wanted and I just cut a strip of transfer tape off and apply that to my Cricut design. Peel that off my mat and got to put these mats away immediately with a cover on or they're going to get all nasty. Okay, 
So I am just gonna turn it over. I'm gonna use my Cricut scraper, scrape the vinyl onto the transfer tape, pull off the backing, and there is my new label. I have the white one of these from the Dollar Tree too, and I um, did the word cream on there and it turned out really cute. So I love having a pink spring version. This is like a little reef decoration that I found at the Dollar Tree. And honestly, this is like the easiest project. I am just gonna take one of these uh, building blocks, well not building blocks, what are they? Uh, Jenga blocks from the Dollar Tree. And I am going to hot glue that on the back to kind of make a stand. And then I just wanna stand it up. I don't really wanna tie it to anything. And then I realized that it's like really crooked, like I did not do a good job. But that's a good thing about hot glue. I mean, it's not permanent, so I can pop that baby back off and go in again. And that's exactly what I did here. Gonna go back in with some hot glue gun. Hot glue gun, hot glue. Get my head out of the frame, that'd be good. Okay, so I'm gluing that on, making sure I got it on there straight this time. And then to cover that hole on the top, I am just gonna attach another one of these little flower stickers in pink, and I'm gonna hot glue it to make sure it doesn't fall off. And voila, another piece done. I had these little um, nests left over from Easter, and I have this that I made uh, for my Easter tear tray too, and I'm gonna use both of those. This is a happy spring sign that came from the Target dollar spot. It was a dollar but it's got green sides and that's not one of my colors um, for the tray. So I'm just gonna go over it with some pink acrylic paint and use my heat gun to dry that real quick. I'm not gonna worry about the back. The back is green, but you can't see it. I think it's gonna be all right. And dry that real quick and you can kind of see the green through it. So I'm gonna go in there with a second coat of the pink acrylic paint and that is all there is to it. Now this reminded me of a, this next piece reminded me of a fence. It's a palette piece from the Dollar Tree and I wanted to cut the top into points or arches to make it look like a fence and then I was like, girl, that is like too much work. So I'm just gonna go in there with my ivory um, chalk paint by Waverly and give it one coat really make it easy, not harder. <laughs> the wood was too thick to like try to snip it and I really didn't want to get my saw back out again. So it's just gonna be a square fence and it actually turned out okay. So I'm just putting a good coat on it. I really don't want it to be too covered, like kind of like a whitewash and I'm gonna dry it with my heat gun. And then I got these little fabric roses at the Dollar Tree. And these two were already wired together, so I was like, all right. So I just went around one of those back pieces there, twisted it on, and then I'm like, uh, yeah, there's not enough flower. So I'm gonna go in and add rose number three and just twist that on with a wire, so easy. And then I'm like, I think this might, you know, look cute, cuter if it was like a gate, not necessarily a fence. So I grabbed one of these uh, giant popsicle sticks that I had in my stash and I kind of measured and cut that off, sanded it a bit. Took me a couple snips to get it just right. And I'm just gonna go over there with one coat of that ivory chalk paint and I am going to just attach that with hot glue. And this was so easy. And I think it really turned out so cute. And it gave me some height that I needed in the back of my tear tray on the other side from where my um, tall birdhouse is gonna be. And I just attached another one of those uh, Jenga blocks from the Dollar Tree. And we're ready to start building. So here's the gate we just made. Had a little bit of hot glue on it. And I'm gonna put that in the back of my T 
tear tray. And there is the birdhouse that we made. And I'm also gonna put that in the back. This is a, you know, you can only see it from the front and the sides, so everything has to kind of face the front. There's our spring creamer. And I'm like, you guys can't see. So let me adjust the camera a little bit. Pull it back some. There you go, girl. Okay. And here we're gonna go in with the little springy gnome. Kind of, you know, blue on one side, blue on the other, kind of break it up. Some yellow in between. The blue and the pink there with that little succulent from Target. All right, that looks really good. So I'm gonna start on the bottom. I'm gonna put the blossom hanger in the back and our succulents that we made over here on the side kind of the opposite side from the other yellow pot on the top to kind of break it up and the pink berry basket and i'm just going to stack those little bird nests from easter in there with the little robin eggs and i kind of turn one upside down just to kind of give some height to the eggs so you can see them and it's another touch of blue and my little spring house that we painted and then my wood beads that I strung together from a previous project and I am just gonna kind of snake those along the bottom and we did it I have my spring tear tray with all items from the Dollar Tree and the Dollar Spot what do you guys think? I think it turned out really cute. I really love the colors. It makes me smile. I've got a little gnome in there. I've got my gate. I've got the birdhouse. Succulents. I always love having a kitchen item since it's in the kitchen. So I've got my little creamer and my berry basket reminds me of kitchen. Some happy spring and it's all so bright and colorful and I love it. And we got the little blossom back there. What do you guys think? How did I do? I think it turned out great. Well, thanks for joining me today. Have a good one.